Hi, Vanessa here in this month's stitch tutorial. I will be demonstrating how to crochet the Tunisian simple stitch using worsted weight yarn and a USK 6.5 millimeter Tunisian hook. If you have a longer crochet hook, that would work too. Okay, let's get started. With Tunisian, you need to work a forward pass and a return pass in order to create one row. Okay, starting with 20 chains, you want to work into the second chain from the hook. So this is the first and that's the second. You're going to work into the back humps of the chain stitch. So there's a flat side and then if you turn it, there's a bumpy back side. So insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over, and then pull up a loop. So we're going to leave all of the loops on our hook. Insert your hook into the next chain stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. So we're going to pick up stitches along our chain stitch. So there's four. You should end up with 20 loops on your hook. I have one more chain stitch left. I'm going to insert my hook and then yarn over and pull up a loop. So now we want to work a return pass. You always start your return pass with a chain one. So yarn over and pull up a loop. Okay, so now we are going to repeat yarning over and pulling through two loops at a time. So you want to yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. So we're going to repeat until we end up with one loop on our hook. Okay, so my last yarn over and pull through two. So now I have one loop on my hook. So the process of the forward pass and the return pass is one row. So now we're ready to start the next row. So this is your forward pass. We're going to skip the side loop here. We're going to work into this loop here. So there's two loops, one in the front and one in the back. We're just working through the front loop. And again, we're just going to insert and pull up a loop and then we're just going to leave them on our hook until we get to the end. So skipping this edge loop here, insert your hook into this vertical bar, yarn over and pull up a loop. Again, we're leaving the loops on our hook into the next vertical bar, yarn over and pull up a loop. So you're going to repeat that all the way across, pulling one loop up through the vertical bars. When you get to the last vertical bar, you have your edge stitches here. So you always want to insert your hook through two loops on the edge. 
So right through these two loops and then pick up your last loop like that. Now we're ready for the return pass. It's the same process as the foundation row. You want to chain one and then yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So we're going to repeat yarn over and pull through two until you have one loop on your hook. So repeat the forward pass and the return pass until you have 14 rows. That's not including the foundation row. So with the foundation row, you should have 15 rows. Okay, so I have completed 15 rows, including the foundation. And this is what it's going to look like. So I've done a return pass and I have all these holes. We want to cast off, so we want to finish off in the top here. And to do that, you're going to work slip stitches. You're going to insert in the first vertical bar like you've been doing. And then when you yarn over and pull through, you're going to also pull through the loop on your hook. Okay, into the next vertical bar yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Next vertical bar, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. So that's what you're going to repeat all the way across. Okay, at the end, we are going to insert through the two loops on the side, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now you can fasten off. Yarn over and then pull it through your loop. All right, thank you for watching.